maybe it's just conjecture. Maybe I'm the crazy one here, but how could I leave Jerry Rice's kid off this list? Like, just for that reason alone, he had to be in my top 10. But then the more I watched and the more I actually dived into it, it's like, okay, well, he's 6'2", 208. He's big body kid, runs a 4 5 40. That to me doesn't matter as much when you are talking about like NFL speed. Um, when I actually watch the tape, I almost feel like he's being underrated because of Caleb Williams. It's like the hype around Caleb Williams being a potentially generational prospect has almost taken the shine off of just how good Brendan Rice was in terms of his contested catch, uh, you know, the way he was running his routes, uh, the way he would come back and attack the ball, uh, the way that he was able to you know, work with Caleb Williams oftentimes on those like non-design plays to create big plays, the way he worked the side of He did a lot of like prototypical NFL receiver type stuff that, yeah, makes sense. He would learn that from his dad. <laughs> it's like, if you don't think he's out there running them hills and making a deal with God, with Jerry Rice by his side, like, fuck off. Like, come on. Wherever this kid ends up landing. And the fact that um, I think his draft capital could actually be like, a little bit less in terms of like, yeah, I do think he could be a second or even a third round pick. I almost think that's better because you're going to give him a chip on his shoulder and he could potentially land in a better situation because of that. So a little bit of it is definitely projecting, but from what I watched, I was like, yeah, he was basically Caleb Williams best receiver and to me, it's like Jerry Rice's kid is going to be successful almost in spite of himself. So maybe, again, it's a little bit of conjecture, and maybe I'm buying into the name a little too much. But, again, everything I saw from this kid, I was like, I, I almost would really struggle to believe that he doesn't make the leap as an NFL wide receiver. And I think he could end up being, you know, amongst all of these guys, potentially, you know, one with, a lot more longevity. So if you're talking about dynasty football, if Jerry race is played for 20 years and his kid plays for 10, like I could see that again, it's like a little bit of conjecture. I know it's uh, you're putting a lot on his plate because his father was literally the greatest wide receiver of all time. But when your father was literally the greatest wide receiver of all time. Yeah. I feel like that's going to rub off. <laughs> I am not there with you, Jack, but that's that's okay. I don't I don't have Brendan Rice in my top ten. I don't actually have him in my top twelve. I think the biggest concern that I had with Brendan Rice is just because he never had over a fifteen percent target share in his college career, and that to me, like if you can't earn targets in college, then I I feel like you're not really going to earn targets in the NFL. Now, to your point, Jerry Rice, absolute legend. So like, all due respect to that man, like greatest wide receiver of all time. So something had to rub off on his son. Same way we're watching LeBron James with his two kids. I just get a little bit worried because it feels like, like, where's he going to land? What type of draft capital is he going to get? Is he going to be, you know, he has the body to be a big level type, my, almost like Michael Thomas type wide receiver um, in the NFL. It's just, he's going to really depend on how he's used in the NFL. So uh, for me, I'm, I'm not as high as you are on him, but I also respect the, where you're coming from um, with Brendan Rice. Michael Thomas was a great comparison or uh, like an Anquan Bolden type once upon a time. Like, I don't think he's going to be like uh, this crazy separator, but a lot of what he was doing um, was contested catches and was, um, you know, uh, really high level catches, even though it wasn't like always, like you said, the volume wasn't always there. The, the consistency in what he was doing to me was there. So I'm probably rating him higher than 99% of the fancy world will. But it's also because, yeah, I'm just, I'm, to me, it's like I, I can see in the tape what I think is going to play at the NFL level. And, you know, it's a little bit more of a projection of, I just, I think he's going to be good. Yeah. No, I respect that. I respect that. My, uh, <laughs> 